hello friends in today's video we are going to discuss about one of the biggest breakthrough in medical science where researchers are saying that they are able to cure they are able to provide a complete solution as well to the inherited blindness by using the crispr cas9 technology so that we can say that in future we may see that blindness may not be a permanent it can be a so temporary problem and it can be cured at a genetic level so obviously this is one of the biggest breakthrough we can say that we will discuss about further details regarding this crispr cas9 technology gene therapy and different parts of the eye and the what are the positive and negative sides of the gene therapy we will discuss in this video first let's see the selvas mapping this particular topic is related to in prelims point of view general science in mains point of view achievement of indian science and technology and indigenization of technology and development of new technology this is the syllabus mapping and the video components in this video we will discuss about why this particular topic in news that is the context then we will discuss about what is the meaning of inherited blindness types of inherited blindness crispr cas9 gene editing technology application of this therapy gene therapy and what are the challenges and ethical concerns with the gene therapy these are the learning objective of this video the context is scientists say that they use the human genome editing tool crispr cas9 to restore vision in people with rare form of inherited or congenital blindness so this is the context first for better understanding of this so in this video very frequently we use the word gene therapy gene okay for better understanding of that first you have to know what is this gene is all about okay human body human body is made up of organ system like for example take a respiratory system and the organ system is made up of organs so respiratory system is made up of lungs trachea like that and organs are made up of tissues tissues are made up of cells each cell contain nucleus because obviously we are the eukaryotes here yeah? okay we are the, we are having a cell with nucleus inside the nucleus we are having a chromosome and on top of chromosome you are having a genome and gene and the gene okay genes are made up of dnas so this much clarity you must have difference between the dna gene chromosome nucleus and cell so this difference you must know then if any problem happens due to the gene gene level then if you repair that that is known as what gene therapy as simple as that okay now here which thing we are talking about we are talking about gene therapy related to blindness so you have to know some details regarding the eye okay so which are the different parts of the eye let me explain different parts of the eye so here if you look at these are the different parts of the eye the outer part of the eye is cornea then behind the cornea you can have iris then light the light going into this uh, uh, eye it will be physically controlled by iris after that iris next we will get the pupil after pupil lens through the lens light will fall on the retina if this retina is getting damaged then obviously it is leading to the blindness so far we discussed that cornea the outer layer then iris is the one which controls the light entering into the eye pupil after pupil lens from lens retina and if you look at here besides the cornea we can find conjunctiva conjunctiva and the ciliary muscles of course inside the eye ciliary muscles are there which helps in the movement of the eyeball these are some of the important parts you have to know next now let's see gene therapy gene therapy can be two types students okay one type is where a human cell sample will be removed out of the cell sample the genes will be edit, genes will be modified in that sample and again the sample will be given back to the patient so this will be done in the lab that is the reason this process is known as in vitro method or ex vivo method the second method is where directly the genes will be given into the human body so genes cannot be directly given into the human body through injection these genes have to be packed in one vector one passenger vehicle that is known as a viral vector by placing the genetic medicine, genetic material in the viral vector those will be administered into the human body this is the second method here 
we are not taking the sample out and we are not doing something in the lab that is the reason it is known as in vivo method these two things occurs very frequently in vivo and in vitro in vitro is also known as ex vivo method okay now you know that so far genome chromosome eye blindness and all these things we covered next which technology they used here they use the technology is known as crispr cas9 so crispr cas9 include actually two components cas9 as well as the guiding rna guiding rna will be attached with the cas9 and this guiding rna will guide the cas9 to the targeted site okay so this uh, target is for example if you would like to cut here under dna the guided rna will guide this cas9 to this particular place and it will be attached to there then cas9 will cut this one that resulted to that particular gene will be deleted in that place we may introduce the new gene also it can be anything okay we may remove a particular gene or we may remove and we may replace that, that with a new gene so it can be in either way so crispr cas9 here you have to understand it include two components scissor that is cas9 and the guiding rna here cas9 is a protein you know that all the proteins are enzymes and tell me guys so where proteins will be manufactured inside the cell very simple to answer next we already discussed about the this context what happens inherited blindness inherited blindness is all about blindness which comes from the parents to the children through hereditary means this may be due to genetic mutations genetic mutation means uh, unintended changes in the gene that is known as genetic mutation inherited blindness can manifest in various forms it may include complete blindness or it may start with the uh, slow i mean prog it may start with the partial blindness progressively it will go to the complete blindness it can be any possible and there are different types of inherited blindness one is a retinitis pigmentosa it is about the disorder related to the retina it leads to the progressive degeneration of the retina leading to the complete blindness you all know that retina will present on the back end of the eye leber congenital amaurosis actually uh, researchers they successfully used the crispr cas9 technology in curing this one we are talking about this one okay it is a severe form of the inherited retinal dystrophy it presents uh, you know blindness by birth D due to this severe visual impairment or blindness will happen by birth and to control this they use the crispr cas9 technology congenital stationary night blindness it is a rare inherited condition characterized by the night blindness next usher syndrome it is combination of blindness along with the hearing loss once a person is uh, having hearing loss by birth even they cannot speak because they don't know uh, the words and they cannot read and write unless until they will be provided with the specialist help next choreodermia this is regarding the x chromosome related disorders when x chromosome is not properly expressed then this particular disorder will happen and generally this kind of x chromosome related disorders female will be carrier and uh, this will be majorly expressed in the men because in men carries only one x, cro x chromosome on the 23rd pair in case if it is related to 23rd pair next leber congenital amaurosis already explained this disease mainly due to the mutation of the gene cep290 gene because of this the cep290 protein will be functioned i mean protein will be manufactured this don't function properly and in the, in the project known as brilliance the project name is brilliance in this project they use the crispr gene therapy called as edit 101 by using this gene therapy edit 101 they successfully able to cure blindness 11 out of the 14 participants this is somewhat very significant result we can say next crispr stands for clustered regulatory interspace short palindromic repeats and cas9 stands for crispr associated protein 9 and this crispr cas9 technology allows editing of the genome by altering the different sections of the gene for the invention of crispr cas9 both the Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Giordano they both got the Nobel prize in chemistry actually crispr cas9 is one part of the gene therapy gene therapy includes two types directly we will give genetic material into the human body by using the viral vector or the crispr cas9 we we'll take out the sample we will edit the genomic and the gene therapy includes addition of the gene 
or deletion of the gene or correction of the gene. Correction of the gene also includes the silencing of the gene. That means we are muting an overly expressed genetic material. Next, regarding the CRISPR-Cas9, already explained Cas9 as well as guiding RNA. And the mechanism also be discussed. Application of the gene therapy. Gene therapy helps in curing of genetic disorders and diseases like cancer, neurodegenerative diseases. And there are certain challenges also there regarding the gene therapy. One is safety risks. When we are using the viral vectors, obviously it may induce unintended immune response also that can be possible. Sometimes it can be off target and there may be delivery issue that means delivering of viral vector into the human body. And if the patient is having any pre-existing immunity issues, that is also the cause of concern. Ethical implications. Sometimes rather than using this gene therapy for curing disease, they may go for the this designer babies that can be possible. And gene therapy, if it started commercialized, only the people, very rich people, they can they can have the access towards the treatment. And this gene therapy may also uh, related to privacy issues because genetic data can be used to discriminate. For example, if the data is revealed, the insurers may decline certain policies to certain types of the genetic population because they are more vulnerable to certain diseases. So what is the option? The solution is it must be used as a final solution and it must be carefully monitoring the benefits of the gene therapy and how the gene therapy benefits and how the effects are there in the second and third generation. Those things have to be monitored. Regulation, it must be subjected to strict regulations and scrutiny so that it cannot be used for the unethical activity and intellectual property rights should be used by the every, it should be allowed to use by everyone because the gene, gene therapy is the upcoming technology. The benefit should be accessed by everyone so that we should, I mean, WHO should encourage the patent holders to help the equitable access to these genomic editing interventions. So these are the solutions we are expecting. Yesterday's video question regarding the political party. Yesterday I given three solutions, three statements regarding the political parties. All these three statements are right regarding the political parties. Today's question, what is cast and protein that is often mentioned in the news? I read the following four statements, pick the right one regarding the Cas9 protein. Main's question, CRISPR-Cas9 represents a groundbreaking technology with a vast potential for scientific discovery, biotechnological innovation and therapeutic intervention. So that means CRISPR-Cas9 technology is holding a lot of potential. Discuss with the help of example. This is the main question. As we reach to the end of this video, we do quick revision. In this video, we mainly discussed about the application of CRISPR-Cas9 in treating the inherited blindness. As a part of this, we discussed about the difference between the chromosome, gene, genetic material, DNA, and what is this CRISPR-Cas9 is all about, different parts of the eye, how this CRISPR-Cas9 technology works, in vivo gene therapy, ex vivo gene therapy, different types of blindness, and uh, uses of the gene therapy, what are the challenges related to gene therapy? All these issues we covered in this particular video. Hope this video is useful in your preparation. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.